Hey guys, it's Jess here today, and I'm bringing you in this video um, about my setup, my orchid setup, and the growing lights I have. Um, I mentioned on my last video that I was a college student, so I have this room. Thankfully, I don't have a roommate, um, but I have this room, and this like whole north wall it's like just windows and you can kind of see like the windows here um but since it's a north facing window like north facing side of the building it doesn't really let in like much sunlight in and not even like morning sunlight which kind of sucks so i kind of had to buy my growing lights so my vanda type and catleyas and any other orchid that needs a lot of light so it wouldn't be affected by the lack of light. Um, I do have a lot of orchids that are growing new leaves and they're spiking or actually, you know, growing new growths. So I didn't want um, the lack of light affecting it. So this is why I have this set up. Um, I have two levels. On each level I have a light. You really can't see the light from the first level it's like higher up and for the second level this is a light right here you can kind of see it the other light looks exactly like this one I got them at Walmart for like $16 15 90 something almost 16 on the first level I have um, all phalaenopsis and I have about nine orchids here um, it's much less crowded than the bottom it's just because if like this is not the sturdiest um, thing ever so I don't want to put too many orchids in there so if in case it does fall it doesn't crush all the orchids I do have down there but as long as I remove it a lot it doesn't really like wobble or anything so yeah I try not to bump into it or anything that is kind of to the side you know on the bottom level, I have, on this side right here, I have Vanda type, I have Catleyas, and I have seedlings there, I have one in Stadium. I have my three Catacetums here, you can't see them, but it's my Catacetum types. Um, when, do, when they do start losing the leaves, I am going to start moving them away. Um, and then off to the side right here, I do have more Phalaenopsis. Um, I do have a lot of Phalaenopsis, I think that's what I have. Yeah, that's what I have mostly in my collection. Um, but I am getting into more things. And my recent addiction is Catacetums. And they are probably not the cheapest addiction um, in the orchid world. But yeah, um, I do have two of these. I got them at, um, on Amazon. They were like maybe $10 or so. Um, they read the temperature and they read the humidity level. And I do like it because it gives you the high and the low. So you'll see how it is. Like it's been through the week. So that's kind of nice. Um, the thing about these is if you drop, drop water right here, it'll like, it'll do this. It'll erase like some of the numbers. I don't know if you can see it, but it will erase like some of the numbers. Like you can't see mostly all the numbers. But I really don't need the temperature because this one reads it. And I also have like, um, I can move like, I don't know what it's called, but I can move like the temperature, whatever I want to, like the degrees. So that's kind of nice. Um, let's see what else. Most of my orchids are in full water culture, so they provide their own humidity and for other orchids too. Um, if you keep your orchids close to each other, they will make the humidity rise. Um, you can see that, so it's not that accurate, but right now my humidity is at 54. I don't know if you can see it looks dark from here, but yeah, my humidity is at 54. But, I don't know, I've noticed that whenever it rains or there's a storm, the humidity goes, like, 
it goes up like it's like on the high 60s or low 70s and then as soon as you know starts getting nice like that humidity like it drops like really drastically so it takes a while I guess for it to start evening up to like normal usually normal for me is like 55 here um I also do like mist them though like I spray like I have a spray bottle and I'll spray them but I won't spray directly to like an orchid I'll just like do it in general because I don't want it to get into the water I don't want it to get into the crowns of the orchids and you know that causes crown rot so I don't want that but um yeah I did mention on my last video that I <clears throat> wanted a different setup for this because it's really like crowded here and I don't like that um, if you have bugs it'll be really easy to spread right now I don't have any bugs thankfully knock on wood um, but yeah you'll have to just make sure if you get like a new orchid or something make sure you don't get any bugs and if there are bugs on your new orchid like pull it to the side so those bugs don't get into your um, collection because if it gets into your collection if you have a big collection it'll take forever to get those bugs out um let's see I do I did buy another light like one of these lights um because I did buy two catacetum flasks or catacetine type flasks um so I kind of want like the direct sun like sunlight for it um I don't know where I will put them though because I do want them close to my collection but I don't have any space right now so I might just move this move all of this maybe to like a different part of my room my room's not that big so there's only a certain amount of places I can move it to but I will hopefully do that when I get them um, or I will either maybe put the flask like the um, the community pods of the flat the deflask seedlings maybe somewhere else and just have like um I guess a seedling like space for them um but yeah I'm not wor too worried about the humidity for them because they will have like a a dome on top of them so the humidity is gonna be good there it's gonna be really high um not to the point where they're gonna mold obviously but yeah this is my setup for now it's only a temp setup i will change my setup soon i don't know when um maybe i will have to get another one of these or like another maybe a sturdier one of these uh bigger or something or just get a smaller one and put it around it somewhere so my orchids right here won't be that crowded but yeah um if you guys like the video please like and subscribe and leave a comment down thanks guys